guys, today I am joined by Sarah Jane from The Book Life and today we are going to be filming our Yalk book haul. So last weekend me and Sarah Jane both attended the Young Adult Literature Convention and um, we bought quite a few books. It's, 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 I mean seeing them on the floor right now is actually quite scary. So I'm kind of detaching myself from yeah. it. Like I don't feel like I really bought them because no. if I went to a shop and I bought like four books I'd be like whoa I really... What have I done? Yeah. yeah, and looking at all these, I I don't feel like I really made those decisions, but I mean, I'm aware that I did. We did end up buying a lot of books that are the same, that are the same. Um, so we're going to show those first, and yeah. then we're going to go on and do the other ones that we bought. So the first book that we both got was Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Yep. Um, we also got this signed, so we're both going to do separate videos where we talk about the books that we got signed at Yalk, yep. where we'll talk in more detail about and show books. the signings yeah. and stuff whereas in this we're just going to show you the books that we bought whether they're signed or not we will say if they're signed but yes. we're not going to show in detail because there's there's just too many to do that yeah. so yes that was book number and one and it's shiny it and is. i like a shiny book so shiny. and it okay. comes with a bookmark which, which we both have we're not doing these in any order oh, no. of how we bought them, by the way. We're just doing them like what's on the floor. So the next book that we're going to show you is one that we picked up right at the end of Yauk, and that is Geek Girl by Holly Smale. Now, two of my friends that we went to yes. Yauk with were reading this, and they were literally laughing as they oh, were reading man. it. And it's not the kind of book that I would have picked up. We didn't go no, me either. to her signing. Um, we bought it last minute because nearly all the bookshelves oh, in the pop up shop were empty. I'll insert the picture. Yes, here. insert the picture. <laughs> and these ones, luckily, they are actually signed. Yes. I don't know, I'm not showing, but... So we didn't get this signed, but it is signed, which is an added bonus. So we both picked up this one on my friend's recommendation and we will hold them. Like, I feel like if one of my friends are sat there reading it laughing, it must be funny. Especially because, yeah, they are, like, yeah, they're not teenagers. I think we might so. read this at the same time. We should. We should do a read-along for yeah. it. Yeah. And see. Actually, we'll there's a lot read. of books here that me and Sean have got the same. So if you've got any ideas for ones that you'd like us to do read-alongs for, yes. let us know. So the next book that we both picked up was The Witch's Kiss by Catherine and Elizabeth Cor. Oh, two authors. Sisters, maybe. Catherine and Elizabeth Court. For me, this was purely a cover buy um, because I bought this because Sean bought it, yeah. <laughs> and also because it says some fairy tales are darker yes. than others. And as you guys know, I am a huge lover of dark fairy tales and just like there's blood. Yeah. And they and it. I said, oh, I might come get this tomorrow, and they went, well, we only have three. And do you I know went, what they do that all the time? I know. And then I saw them reduced at the end of the yeah. the, the weekend, and I have, I have been tricked. Uh, oh, I know. I bought it. F I bought it because I read the first line, and the first line is "witches do not kneel." And Ooh. I thought, okay, I'm down for that. So, oh my god, I've just started reading it. Yeah, can we I. Do you want to read this? Please, scene? please comment down below and go, guys. This read one sounds this amazing. One. Let's do this one. Yeah. Another book that we got is one that we didn't have to pay for. And this is The Deviants, and this was a book proof. If you signed up to, I think it might have been HQ, which is Harper yeah, Collins' new imprint, because it, it used to be Mirror Ink, and they're changing. I'm 99% sure that's right. If not, I'm sorry. Um, but that, yeah, if you signed up, you got one of two books. One of them was about a school shooting, and this one was a thriller. A teen thriller. I decided to get it because on the back it says The Fearless Five, inseparable as children growing up in a sleepy town. I kind of wanted this because I loved the Famous Five as a kid, so like I never read them. The idea of this group of five kids then going into like yeah a thriller setting just really kind of grabbed me, and it looked pretty cool. And I I'm not really I'm not really one to read shooting books like that's no. not that would be like a really big anxiety <laughs> trigger for me. It'd just be one that would get you down, wouldn't it? Just yeah. Be, uh... So we both picked up this. So the next book that we got is The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. Um, I think for me the title was the one that made me want to buy this. A, a lot of these are purely like impulse buys. Impulse buys. So like I I don't know what a lot of them because are about. Because they're cheaper. Because they had a yeah. Waterstone stand, but then individual publishers also had their own stands, and they had discounts a lot and of like discounts, two four yeah. and things like that. So we picked these up because you picked this one, didn't you? I did. And yes. then I picked another one, yeah. and we got two. Do the same. same, yeah. In Mary's world, there are simple truths. The sisterhood always knows best. The guardians will protect and serve. The on oh my goodness, unconsecrated, unconsecrated will never relent. So it, it just sounded like something that maybe yep. would be 
up the alley so yeah there was a lot of contemporary books there so when you did find like a fantasy kind of one it was yeah, like and it's always fun like finding a fantasy book that people aren't talking about yes I, th I feel like that's what a lot of these books are they're books that we haven't seen about on yeah booktube, haven't about. and i'm really excited about that yeah the next book that we bought and we bought this at the same time as the last yeah. one is the house of <laughs> shattered wings by <laughs> aliette de bodard we'll go with that and this is set in paris which is a big thing for me the cover was a big thing but it's a murder mystery set in, set heaven. in heaven like well the fallout a of a war in heaven mystery on an epic sale set against the fallout literally of a war in heaven yeah and also like notre dame is a burnt out shell and things like that and i've seen the notre dame and it's so beautiful and a lot of these locations places i've been to oh, okay so, like for me i'm just i love paris but usually paris is like contemporary romance yeah. oh yeah so to find a book that's set in Paris that's like fantasy is amazing and Grab I really wanted this one and Sean really wanted the other one and then when we saw each other's we were like okay <laughs> so we both bought these so the next books that we got uh, by the same author we got one the same and then we got the other one separate so we walk walking around Yalk and we think he's a self-published author because yeah. there were a lot of stamps stand there, and what was the, the line? It was something like a mashup between Game of Thrones Dead and Game of Thrones, yeah. yeah. And he um, was really, really nice as well. So we both bought separate books, one the same, the other not. So the first one that we got that's the same is Dystopia by Anthony Ergo. Um, I'm literally reading the back while you're speaking. There is another one. Because a lot of these, we haven't read the backs no, because we haven't had time, so now we're filming, we're like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, he, I remember him saying that this was kind of dystopia meets supernatural. Yeah. And we thought that was cool, didn't we? Yeah. And also, this is set in London. And again, most fantasy books, especially like urban type fantasy or dystopian, are American. Mm. Do Sean, best with you. Mm. Ooh. Why do you get a special one? Because he said, this won't make sense now, but it will when you read it. Well, that's not fair. The next one that I got is Plague Rises by Anthony Ergo. Um, we were talking about The Walking Dead. This is the one I think that was yeah, the mashup. Yeah, and I was talking about how I'm terrified of zombies, but also I'm obsessed with them, as, as everybody knows. Um, and he says that in his book they are called Rises. So I did get a special That's one a good in name. this one. Yeah, it is good, isn't it? Um, so, oh yeah, this, I remember, this is set... Because he was—he told me he was really interested in like the time that this was set, mm -hmm. and he thought it'd be really interesting Didn't he do, like, to have a history degree. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And he thought it'd be really interesting to have zombies in it. So I think this one will be mm. really cool. I'm quite excited for it. And the other one that I got, I got the second one in this series, which could be a mistake because you know you buy the first two and you might not like it. But yeah. at the same time, I know I get the feeling this probably isn't the easiest one to get hold of. Yeah. So yeah, don't read the back. You spoil yourself. Oh yeah. It says there's an existence that works in parallel to our own world, and I like stuff like that. Yeah. So this one's also signed. I've got enjoy. It got smiley face. So another author that was at Yauk was Julie Mayhew. I met her last year at Yauk, and I did a review of one of her books very recently. She writes. I don't even know how you describe it because she wrote this book called The Big Lie, which Sean bought, which she may as well show now. This one. And it's a Nazi story about. A young girl set in Nazi England if the Nazis had won the war yeah basically and it's really really good because it's YA it's almost like alternate alternate history yeah. and this book is awesome so of course I was like Sean buy it and we watched her panel didn't we yes the, oh it was one of the best panels I think oh well actually Maggie but it was yeah. it was an incredible panel it was a kind of panel where she sounded so intelligent and the but also so fun. Yeah, yeah. So it just it made me also that extra yeah. kick. And I obviously didn't buy that book because I already had it, but she's written another book called Mother Tongue, and this actually isn't out yet. So this was on sale exclusively for Yelp. I yes. don't know when it's out, but we managed to get it. And I don't actually know that much about this story, but I don't really feel like I want to. I want to go. Siobhan to... was reading it, and I remember her. Yeah, being like, this is incredible. Julie actually watched my review of the Big Lie, and I went up to her, and I think she kind of recognised me. It wasn't sure where. Yeah. And then I was like, "Oh, thanks for watching my review," and she literally like jumped out of her seat, <laughs> didn't she? It was yeah. like, "Ah," oh, gave me a hug, and she signed it with, which I know we're not really showing, but it's cool. And she's put to the fabulous vlogging Sarah Jane, which is really cool. But yeah, she's just. She's just so much fun, she's so cool, and I'm really, really excited for Sean to read The Big Lie. Or so, the Dorker. So the next books that we got um, 
were, well if you want to show your first one, because we both got the same book but Sarah Jane also got an extra one on top of that. So I picked up this one because I haven't read any V.E. Schwab. I did want this Savage song but it had sold, sold out, out, yeah, which is fine because I'm not like, oh my god, I really want a specific one because I haven't read any of them yeah. yet. But I picked up this one and then later on, what were we saying about that thing at the end? We both picked up A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, um, which is obviously the second book in the series. I haven't read this series yet, I'm currently reading this savage song and I'm enjoying it. I need to stop doing you that. You do. Um, but I have seen a, a, a lot of good things about this series yes. and you had a meet up didn't you? Yes. And there was a girl that was... She was so lovely and she was talking about what the book yeah. was about and she basically sold it to me and what was nice is because she watched my channel she was like Sarah Jane you were gonna love yes. this and I was like I believe you! So. She almost sounded disgusted that we hadn't read <laughs> Yeah she was like how oh, could you not have read this? Um, but I also Yes, they're both signed. We are. This one was one that I found at Waterstones that was like pre-signed, and then I got the other two signed. Yeah, I got her. this one signed when we met her. Yeah, but I'd only. I think I only wanted to buy one at the time. Yeah, and I got this on the last day. So. To me, she just she's so nice on Twitter, and she just seems so nice in person that she's the kind of author you want to read her books. And she really was just like wandering around. Yeah, the out, she was like, wandering around. Wandering I think if we'd have gone up to her and been like, "Oh, can we vlog with you?" She'd have been she'd like, have been "Yeah, fine. yeah." We just didn't because we're scared. But if we had done, I think she'd have been totally cool with it. I'm gutted. I mean, I am gutted we missed the panel, but we were both so hungry. <laughs> yeah, it was like Fantasy London, and my books like Fantasy London, and oh, but food. Why? <laughs> So some of the next books we bought were by Dawn Kurtigich. Now, if you guys watch my channel, you'll know that I absolutely adore Dawn. She's one of my friends and she's so, so, so lovely. And I bought her second book, which is called The Creeper Man and she so did creepy. Sean. And we went and got it signed and her her table was the coolest table. It's there cupcakes! Was we dropped our cupcakes in front of the big queue. And everyone saw. Everyone saw. And we were like, oh, I'm so gutted. Ran away and ate them. And we went, let's pick these up and like put them in the bin. And went, yeah. And then as we walked off, I said to Sean, please tell me you were saying that just in front of everyone. We're still going to eat them. And she went, hell yeah. So we still ate them. And I told Dawn and she was really proud of us <laughs> for still eating the cupcakes. But Sean really wanted to get her other book. The Dead But she Pats. didn't get it. Um, so I got this one. So obviously we got this signed at the signing. Signing. So we'll talk about it more in detail in our yep. other videos. But then I got The Dead House, which is, is it her first book? Yes. Um, and you know how like when authors do signings of extra copies of books to go into bookstores and that's usually just a squiggle? Because I was Sarah, saying to Sarah Jane, if I don't think their signature is worthy, I won't buy the like book. Yeah. Okay, it's like, it doesn't really count. Um, so we picked this up and I thought, oh, I'll just have a quick look inside. And um, Dawn's done her signature and also... Evil house. Drawn an evil house. <laughs> and said evil house. And said evil house. So I was like, I, I can't not buy that book. Yeah. In September, I'm going to be doing a read long for this book. I haven't read The Dead House yet, but I know a lot of people have, whereas this one is new. So if you would like to be part of a read long for this one, check out my channel. <laughs> Thanks. Self promo. The next book that I bought was, um, you know, uh, at, the, um, at the stand, sometimes they'd have authors there. And you'd be looking at books and they'd be like, oh, that's my book. And then you're like, oh, cool. <laughs> so that is More of Me by Catherine Evans. Um, I did get this signed. What's it about? Obviously. I don't actually know. I ain't got a clue. Tether's life seems normal. School friends, boyfriend, but at home she hides an impossible secret. Eleven other Tethers. Because once a year, Tether separates into two, leaving a younger version of herself stuck at the same age in the same house, watching the new Tether live the life that she'd been living. But as the 17th birthday rolls around, Tether is determined not to let it happen again. She's going to fight for her future, even if that means fighting herself. So the next book that I picked up is Underwater by Marissa Wrightchart. Should yeah, we go for that? Right go for that? I bought this off the, I think it was the My Kind of Book table. And it just looked really, really pretty. Pity? Pity? <laughs> really pretty. Because it looks like this, but also there's little flecks of gold. And it was a cover by, and I'm not really massively into YA Contemporary, but it's a small book. And I feel like I'm more likely to pick up, pick yeah, up a small... Yeah, it might be one that maybe get you through like a reading slump or something. Yeah. Unless it's bad. And we don't know what it's about really, but it says, breathe, you're okay, you're not dying. And then it says, what happens that day can't be changed, can't be unseen, but Morgan survived and now she finds a way to move on. Maybe you just found a random business card. It just says you have been selected, www.freetheeternals.com. Where was that? In here. Selected for what? I don't know. The Hunger Games. Oh, I'm gonna die! So the next book that I bought was A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I did have a Patrick Ness book at home, but I left it at home, and he was doing a signing there. 
so I thought I would buy it and this is actually signed by Patrick Ness himself and by Lewis who is going to play the main character in the TV show not the TV show the movie. movie the next book that I picked up was the bone season by Samantha Shannon because I have never read a book by her and my lovely friend Sam thoughts on tone sent me this book but it was hardback and it was heavy mm. so I decided to buy it again in paperback it wasn't buy again just buy it in paperback so Shine also got her sign but she already had it so that's why she's not showing it but I feel like you all know what this book is really probably. oh I love the bone season I haven't read it yet but I like it because it's embossed and I like an embossed one <laughs> so the next book that I picked up was Blame by Simon Mayo um he was also at a panel with Julie Mayhew Julie Mayhew um and he just he was really interesting as a person um so I got this signed and it looks really really interesting actually i think it's about it's in a set in a world not too far in the future where the eu is broken up Ooh. and um you are held accountable for your heritage. the crimes of your heritage so um yeah it sounds really really interesting actually and i got this signed and uh, do you know what he was the first person that said to me have you got a hat on your a have you got like anything on your a and i was like didn't Patrick Ness ask you what it was? And yeah, and I said the wrong thing, and he's like, no, no, that's this. And I was like, oh. Um, I had loads of authors ask me if I had a symbol of the A on my name, which I do, which I have no idea what it's called. So I was having to go, yeah, it's the one that goes... The hat. <laughs> it's like a half, not a full triangle. It's like a roof. <laughs> it is, it's like a hat. So I just say, yeah, I've got a hat on my A. And they're all just looking at me like... I, another book that I got, which was a freebie, is Kook by Chris Vick. I don't know anything about this book. It's a freebie because... They cancelled the Thursday, so anyone who bought their ticket before that got this freebie. And I didn't get one, and I was really annoyed. So I sent a tweet because I didn't want to go out there and ask. <laughs> and they were like, just come and get it. And I was like, okay. So I went up to the desk and I was like, I didn't get a book yesterday. And they were like, here you go. I went, oh, thanks. And you missed the signing, didn't you? And I took it with me on Sunday for the signing, but we were there after the signing had finished. So I don't know why I carried it around with me. Uh, the next book that I picked up was one that we picked up on the Sunday when Waterstones was slowly running out of stock and it was sort of a ah oh, that's cool I'll buy it and it was signed and that one is Goth Girl by Chris Riddell R Riddell? 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 I think it's Riddle 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 Chris Riddle someone's going to comment and go you were yeah. right first time Sarah J um, <laughs> first time Charlotte it was Sarah signed so there's a oh silver there. pen yes that's where I kind of partly why I picked it up I and I also kind of picked it up because I just art and obviously illustration so I, I picked that up and it's just something I've wanted to read as well so and and Oh, see, look. Shiny. Oh, and it's got shiny pages. <laughs> no, do it justice. <laughs> look, look at that. It is. A, it's a really nice looking book, which yeah. is, you know, always good. So another book I picked up was in our last minute Waterstones sweep. What are <laughs> you doing? <laughs> and that is the square root of summer. I saw this book on a lot oh, of I badges. Have you? Yeah, I got sent it. Oh. Cool. I just realised. Well, well I got it at the very last second because you were actually paying and I just like... Yeah. yeah. Oh look! <laughs> Here's <laughs> one you book. forgot. Um, I just saw this one on a lot of posters, a yeah. lot of bookmarks and it looks quite fun and also the pages are like neon pink with symbols which is cool and it just looks fun. Signed too. Oh yeah and it's, and it's signed so another one that we didn't actually go and get signed but you could buy them their mm. sign which is actually quite nice because sometimes you don't have time yeah. to do every author and if you haven't met them, not sorry, if you haven't read the book by them you might not be as don't necessarily bothered yeah. but it's cool to get it without yeah. the effort. So the next book that I bought was The Boy Who Drew the Future by Rian Ivory. Um, we actually met her on the first day, do you remember? We were looking at stands and she was like, I could tell you about these books because I wrote these. And we were like, oh, we'll come back. Oh, I thought she only wrote the one that was no. that, that, that one where they were under sea. Yeah, and this one. I think this oh. is a new one. Um, but this one's signed as well. I found it at a stand and they had some signed copies left, so I bought that. It just looks really, really creepy. Basically, the main character has to draw people's futures to survive by the sounds of it. So, mm. yeah, it sounds quite interesting. And obviously, I like drawing, so... That could be it's quite, quite a good book for yeah, you, actually. quite an interesting one. The next book I bought is Nerve by Jean Ryan. Now, I was at the cinema recently and I saw the trailer for the upcoming movie and I thought it looked really cool and it looked like the kind of thing that I would like to go and see. And we got to this stall and if you bought a book, you got a Shadowhunter bag, which is going to be shown by the lovely Sean. Yep. And 
we just went up there and went, what do we have to buy to get that? <laughs> yeah, we went, literally did. Because I thought it might be like two books, it might yeah. be a specific book, and she went, just buy any book. And we went, okay then. Okay, yeah. so. so I bought this one because I'd like to read the book before the film comes out. So the next book that I... So the next book that I bought is part of um, three that I bought because it was three for £10, I think, and that was on the last day, so they were like, buy all this stock, I don't have any room for it in my car. So I bought Blackfin Sky by Cat Ellis, um, massive colour buy because look at it. Uh, someone drowns on their 16th birthday, towns in mourning, she goes missing, sadness, blah blah, then she kind of shows up and yeah, she acts like nothing's happened. The next book that I picked up is A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston and this was a major cover buy yes. because it's shiny, it's got feathers, it's so pretty and it says he killed 300 girls before he came to my village looking for a wife. Are you going to say you this, know this This, book? this, this, this is inspired, no I think, you know The Wrath, Wrath of the Dawn? Yeah but no. But you've heard of it? Yeah. I think this is what that's inspired from. When a powerful and dangerous king arrives in the desert, takes one of the village girls as his next wife, yeah. one girl will stop at nothing to save the life of her sister, even if it means sacrificing herself. So it's from the My Kind of Book book club. Is it book club? Well, no. Because I was at the store and I met Kat McKenna, who is in charge of the Rainbow Row fangirl group, and I'm part of that, so I wanted to meet her. And I went, oh, this is pretty. And she was like, it's really good. And it's really pretty. And I was like, well. In that case, I'll buy it. So right I got well. this one. The next book that I got what? is the second. Like you're seeing all these ones I bought and being like, why didn't I buy that? Aren't you? No, no. It's like, when did you buy this? You were a <laughs> sneaky book buyer. I was like, I'll just pop it over here. <laughs> is I didn't steal them. <laughs> well, no, you bought them. Is the second book of the three that I bought for ten pounds on the last day, and that is Alien Rain by Ruth Morgan. Oh, is where? I, see, I had no idea what it's about. I just bought it because of the cover. But they live in Mars. Live on Mars. And everyone dreams of returning to Earth, where you could see a bird fly and see the rain. And she's chosen to go on a mission to Earth. Ooh. A rare honour. Now we're on to my final book, and the book I'm probably the most excited yeah, about. God. And that I literally squealed. I, you saw it and went... <gasps> and I got <laughs> The Flame Never Dies by Rachel Vincent, because this book isn't out yet. And even when it does come out, I think it's supposed to be hardback. I, I, I even tweeted Rachel Vincent, I was like, look, and she was like, where How? You? Yeah, she was actually like, where, where, how? <laughs> and um, yeah, this is the second book in her The Stars Never Rise. I don't know if it's a trilogy, I think it probably is going to be a trilogy. And it's again like a dystopian meets supernatural kind of thing. There's like degenerates that suck souls and I need to read it's, that. it's really, really good. And this is the second one and the cover is so pretty. Mm. So the final book in the three that I bought for £10 is Black Arts by... Prentice and Wheel, Whale. Whale, probably Whale. Whale. It's out, uh, ooh, a city where devils are real. This was a cover by, um, actually this sounds quite good. What wasn't a cover by? That's true. <laughs> All of it basically was cover by. Um, London is teeming warren of thieves. London is a teeming warren of thieves and cutthroats. Young Jack Fit writes in, but when he picks the wrong pocket, he finds himself in a London far more dangerous than he ever imagined. The next book that I got is Night Owls by Jen Bennett. Absolutely no idea what this is about. Actually, this looks like it could be a contemporary almost. Oh, really? I, d I don't know. But it starts with crap. He was definitely <laughs> checking me out. What should I do? Oh, no, I don't think it's a contemporary, but it may have feels of maybe a young, teeny, kind of teeny bopper. The final book that I bought is actually one I'm really excited to read, and that is The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. Um, it says Irene is a professional spy for the mysterious library which harvests fiction from different realities. Why so... didn't you tell me about this? <laughs> Look at it, it's... Why didn't you tell me, Sean? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> and along with her enig enigmatic assistant Kai, she's posted to an alternative London. Their mission to retrieve a dangerous book, but when they arrive it's already been stolen. London's underground factions seem prepared to fight to the very death to find her I would have book. Booked. I would have thought that. Doesn't it sound it. really awesome? Even, do you know what? I didn't even see it. Did you not? No. Oh, I bought it because I was like, oh, that's pretty. And then I looked at the back and I was like, oh, actually. So, that is all the books that we bought at Yelk. Yeah. I think, did I buy 20? Maybe over 20, which is... I think I had like 17. <gasps> I don't know. I had, I had, I think, three less than what Sean yeah. had. It's, it's ridiculous, the amount of books that we bought, but yeah. it's so said, worth it. 
I wasn't going to buy any books. That she literally said when we went, she was like, because oh, we're going to do a bookshop tour for Sarah Jane later. Um, and she said, I don't really feel like I'm going to buy many books there. I only buy authors that are signing. Because otherwise I can just get them when I get home. But I don't think about how cheap they are in comparison. That's very true, yeah. I don't think about how some of them will already be signed anyway. And I don't think about how some are out before they're out to the general public. Plus, Plus it's me. And you just get swept up in the atmosphere, don't you? It's like you go there, everyone's talking about books and they love books and you're like... Yeah. Fine. I don't want to be sat there, like, just with money, but no <laughs> books. I don't um, want money. <laughs> I just want books. So, like we said, if you want us to do any read-alongs for these books, let us know down below which ones you think would be... Yeah, because we are so excited about so yeah. many of yeah. them. Um, and if you've read any of them and you think that yeah. they're ones that we need to read right away, let us know, because... It's going to be a while before we get to some of them. Yeah, I've still got books from last year's out. We also filmed a geeky Comic-Con haul over on Sarah Jane's channel. So if you want to watch that one, click on her face or down below. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! We filmed two videos. I know, I've got a numb bum. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, the weirdest okay. face you can pull? Buffalo soldier. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you know what? It's got to the point, Shah, where we spent like seven days together nearly, and I just think you're. Just, I just thought she'd be weird again. <laughs> oh, so I have to keep ready? bending down. Good no back for problems. Retreat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Oh, I've got a book. Oh, so. <laughs> oh, bugger me! Oh, bugger me! <laughs> That's not going to make any sense if they haven't seen. Because <laughs> oh, been... the cards fell down again. Bugger me. Why do I always push the book against my I face? I don't know. It's like I just need it to be near me. So the next book that we both got... <laughs>